Mamu Kulibali and Fatumata Tangara know all about the benefits of the shade tree. Like thousands of women in Mali, they've been gathering its fruit for years in order to produce soaps and other products they can sell. The shade tree grows wild throughout this vast country, but here in Kimini, it remains a source of natural wealth that is yet to reach its full potential. Production in Mali hovers at 80,000 tonnes a year, but it's reckoned there's potential for it to reach 250,000 tonnes and improve the lives of many rural families. Women like these face many challenges, the first being how to transport the fruit to a place where it can be stored and processed. Mamu is fortunate because she can borrow her husband's cart, but others aren't so lucky. During harvest, they may walk several kilometers to the nearest village with up to 50 kilos of fruit on their head. Oh, I'm afraid the medical guy. Who can name me? Miss Ratu, I'm a Uturu, Daba Damasoro, I do Nina Pungukono. Nayanga she to Makata and I sukono, a Marayoro de Gudibonga. The challenges don't stop once the fruit from the shade tree has reached a processing centre. Nene Traoué works in Segu in southern Mali at the Sibylon Bar Cooperative. The centre uses 800 litres of water a day. It all has to be pumped from the ground 10 litres at a time and carried to where the women work. It's an energy sapping process and often leaves women too tired for the remaining labour intensive tasks. Amina a new project is seeking to help women become more productive and their businesses become more profitable. It's run by the governments of Mali and Luxembourg in conjunction with UNIDO, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. At this centre on the outskirts of Douila, workers have since February 2011 benefited from new machinery, training and improved production methods. Today the centre employs 20 women, who process the shea fruit gathered by more than two and a half thousand women spread across 32 villages in the area. A year ago the centre could only produce 100 kilos of soap per day. Now it can produce 600. And the emphasis is on quality as well as quantity. A better product means a better life for the workers. Higher productivity means higher wages for the workers, allowing the women to spend more money where it matters. At this local school in Douila, the classes are full. More children can attend class if their parents have the funds to pay the fees and don't need to call on their children to work to help make ends meet. Elle ne retire plus les enfants de l'école pour les travaux ménagers. Ça veut dire que d'une part le revenu de la famille a augmenté et ils utilisent alors pas mal de moyens maintenant pour subvenir à leurs propres besoins. Notamment la petite fille était retirée de l'école pour pouvoir piler le mille. Maintenant avec les moulins que nous avons sous la main, les filles elles ne sont plus embêtées. Elles travaillent normalement et dans nos classes et les meilleures sont les filles. The project is run in conjunction with Mali's Ministry for the Promotion of Women, Children and the Family. There is plenty of evidence of development in Bamako, the capital of Mali. 
The support given to the women outside the capital is part of a government policy to combat poverty in the rural areas of the country. À tous les niveaux, les femmes travaillent dans le carité du nord au sud, de l'est à l'ouest. Maintenant, il y a une question de qualité de carité qui est en train d'être euh, améliorée maintenant avec les nouvelles techniques. Les femmes, qu'est-ce qu'elles veulent Elles veulent qu'elles qu puissent tirer beaucoup plus de profit de cette filière. La filière, c'est la seule qu'elles connaissent depuis des années, depuis des millénaires. Donc c'est ce cette filière qui les apporte de l'argent. Et avec l'argent, elles envoient les enfants à l'école, elles soignent les enfants, elles éduquent les enfants et elles entretiennent la famille. Donc par rapport à cette filière, elles veulent gagner de l'argent. Et pour gagner de l'argent, il faut produire de la qualité, il faut être bien organisé et il faut connaître le marché. The cooperative based in Dwila produces goods that are sold at this shop in Bamako. And it's not just domestic consumers the project is targeting. It set its sights much higher. This shipment of 20 tons of soap is the first delivery to be produced for a new client in France. Soaps that sell for just 50 euro cents in Bamako sell for up to 10 times that in the wealthy West. The hope is that the more value the women of Mali can add to their products before they sell it, the greater the price they can sell it for and the more profit they can retain. This factory in Marseille is owned by the project's French partner, the Savonnerie du Midi. Together it has formed a joint venture with the Douila-based cooperative. Rather than buy the raw material, it's opted to buy a product from Mali that has undergone some of the processing already. Today, in this uh, part of Mali, they used the, the shibuta for their do domestic consumption, and the other part is exported as raw material to Europe or the US, and uh, all the added value is made in Europe. Or in the US, Canada, or Japan. What's up, no baron? I should do baron enough for body by anger. For say, Saf no baron is to do baron yado, Angula dona, on them on your door. A ye fena summer, Namse Kanga barrack and nine at Chugum, Amanga Sanica, and so Yerabanga Sanica, and you dangle a no la, Amanga Tuluma, work out fairy, Nim whatever, Amanga Faber can. The first delivery to France was cause for much celebration back in Douila. If the improvements here can be replicated across the country, hopefully many other women in Mali will also have something to celebrate in the future.